Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Oha Kate. I'm a composer, and today we're going to check out Good Night by EXO. This was a request by an anonymous patron. Thank you so much. If you'd also like to become a patron, the link is in the description, as well as a link to submit a one-time request if you would prefer. Now, I believe this song is from their 2017 album Universe, which is a winter album, I believe. I'm not sure if this is going to be a winter song. But that's basically all the context I have. Let's just jump right into it. Siren. <clears throat> all right, let's try that again. Is that a siren? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I tried starting the song first, I heard that siren sound and I thought it was a real siren, so I stopped the song to let the siren pass like a I thought it was a real police siren outside my door but I guess it's in the song I'm just going to go back there to the beginning of the verse because my mind is just all over the place hang on let's try that again Beautiful, subtle vocal performances so far. Now, it's been a while since I listened to EXO, and it's been a while since I reacted to EXO on the channel, so I should know these voices just by hearing them, but I don't. I'm going to guess that the first one is Suho, and I'm going to guess that the second one might be Dio, but this is really... I'm going for an educated guess here, but a beautiful performances anyway. That's Chan. <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta stop it. Um, I didn't want to stop it because I was really enjoying that so much. I was finding it hard to find a, a point to stop it at. So I will never fail to be amazed by their vocal talents. They just sound so good um, on every single song. Just the variety of the vocal melodies, the different tones they use, the, the different voices complement each other so well. The instrumentation, the instrumental in this song is, is unique. Uh, even though I don't find the overall atmosphere of the song to be unique considering their overall discography, I feel like they've done quite a few songs like this now, but the production in this one in particular is nice because there's something very uh, minimal and pared back about it, and there's little quirky moments like the little dun 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 uh, in the electric piano giving like just little little like stabs of sound and then leaving the silence open for their vocals very cool idea very zesty um i'm really into just the overall spirit of this song um i'm really enjoying their vocals i can't get a good grasp on the actual melody or the actual hook of the song so far but so far i'm really enjoying it I'm just gonna go go back there a little bit to appreciate some of those vocals and the transition into this verse 
This is really interesting. I feel like if that was the chorus, it doesn't sound anything like the chorus that I heard previously. So it's possible the song has two different choruses or else I have a terrible memory. <laughs> but it just seems like this chorus that I just heard was it's a different section than before. So it's possible that this song, the song is we're moving through a lot of linear ideas rather than having any repetition. Hmm. I'm tempted to go back and listen to the first chorus after hearing that. Um, it's also possible that they're, they're just varying the vocal melody so much. Even if there is a, a bass vocal melody that they're following, it's possible that they're varying that melody individually so much that I can't get a grasp on what the actual chorus is. But if this is a linear song, and every section is intended to sound different. I'm still quite down for that because I think it's a very cool idea. Either way, I'm 100% on board with this song. I'm just gonna go back a bit. This bridge is, is fun. The chord progression is reminding me a little bit of Kiss from a Rose uh, by Seal. You know, that, that little vibe there. I'm not sure what that chord progression is, but it involves a lot of major chords. Gorgeous. I love that electric piano sound. It's very like retro, nostalgic sounding. Kind of 80s influence there. Um, okay, so I need to go back and listen to some of the, the chorus parts again just so that I want to confirm that I know what I'm talking about because I really do feel like this song is it's almost like a three and a half minute composition of ad-libs um it's almost like a little bit of a free-for-all improv type thing because I again like I can't get a grasp on a chorus in this song and again if there is no actual chorus it's not a bad thing but I'm just intrigued I just want to hear like let's go into the, the chorus here again it's probably somewhere around here Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Baby, good night. Like that's a solid hook right there. <laughs> Yeah, and I remember this verse from Kai. Okay, so let's let's see the second chorus here. Oh, 
Yeah, that whole big, big night, it only happens once. Okay, so this is really cool. And let's just go back to the bridge and see what the final chorus sounds like. Yeah. So, it is how I suspected where there's no real bass line, verse melody, chorus melody that they're all following. It's very much a linear story told by the vocals where there's like no, li very little to no repetition in the song. And I think that's a very cool idea, especially for a, a pop R&B song from a K-pop group. That's something that is very unprecedented. Now, granted, I had a look at where this song was on the track list of this album, and it's a little bit towards the end. You know, it's not exactly up front. You know, they're not trying to sell the album with this song as a single or anything. But just the fact that they experimented with an idea like this is really, really cool. And, it, you know, it's possible after I hear the song a few more times, I it will dawn on me that, okay, yes, they are repeating parts here and there, and here's where it's a bit more cohesive. Um, but... From my uh, limited listening experience of this song and with the theoretical knowledge that I wield, <laughs> I really feel like that is what they were going for with this song and I really like it. You know, sometimes cohesiveness is not necessary. Sometimes so something that is overly cohesive is limiting and I really feel like with this song they um, just went outside the boundaries and... That is really awesome, really cool. I like that they had this in them. I should have known because there's so much variety in some of their tracks, but this was still really cool to discover. All right, let's check out the lyrics. When a night that is beautiful like you falls in this sleepy world, I close my eyes and quietly dream of you. Far away in the sky, the small stars shined wherever we walked into your ears, I whispered the love that I kept. So far, this seems like a pretty straightforward love song. Baby, good night. The moment I drew you out in my dreams, I just wanted time to stop. I want you back in my arms still. I miss you. I can't find you anywhere. You're not here. But this beautiful night comes back. Nothing is here. Only the emptiness grows continuously. I think what this song might be about is dreaming of someone who you used to be with, but now are no longer with and you miss them dearly so the phrase good night is really saying good night i look forward to seeing you in my dreams even if you're not here because the next verse says it's so strange i can't see you still but my time my seasons keep going as if nothing is wrong he keeps living with this person in his dreams at night when a night that is beautiful like you falls in this sleepy world yeah I close my eyes and I quietly dream of you. Right. Your eyes sparkled even brighter. Your voice was so soft. If only I could feel your touch just once more. Sad. Oh, like a habit. Oh, I think of you. The stars in the night keep fading, getting farther away like you and me. When morning comes, I forget about you and I just wait for night to come back. It seems like my assumption has been confirmed by that verse. It's quite literal. When the morning comes, I forget about you and I just wait for night to come back so we can be together in my dreams. I won't give up, baby. I'll be waiting for you. A beautiful night without you comes to me again. A beautiful night without you comes to me again. Interesting. I quietly close my eyes and think of you and without knowing, I fall asleep. Interesting. I'm not sure what that line is going for there. A beautiful night without you comes to me again. Seems to be going against the meaning that I had uh, came up with. So let me know what I might be missing, if anything. It's possible that that might be a mistranslation or some other error, but yeah, overall, I think the concept of seeing someone in your dreams and everything is quite cool. I'm not sure if the lyrics fit with the atmosphere of the song. I guess I am getting that wistfulness from the music, but I'm not really getting the bittersweet, sad tinge to the story of someone being 
missed or missing or or longed for pined for you know it has that it has that the sense of a breakup so i'm not i'm not getting the, the sadness from it but you know i i guess it fits um overall i think that i am more into the music than these lyrics but they're still pretty solid i've, I've definitely seen worse <laughs> lyrics than this yeah i'm very curious about this song and potentially this album so yeah let me know if you'd like me to check out more songs from this album perhaps any live performances of these songs yeah that's about it for today's analysis thanks for watching if you enjoyed this content uh, please like subscribe hit the notification bell leave a comment if you'd like to influence the content on this channel you can also become a patron or submit a one-time special request again the links are in the description my name is oha Kade. i'm a composer and you can check out my original music by checking out the band valkada you can also find a link to us in the description that's about it from me for today thank you so much and take care